Introducing Windmill MCP, the model context protocol. It enables agents like Claude or tools like Cursor to securely access and run scripts and flows from our Windmill workspace. Let's begin in the Windmill documentation, where we can find a quick overview of the protocol along with a ready-to-use setup template. Next, we open up Cursor, one of the supported tools that works seamlessly with MCP. In Settings, under the MCP tab, we click Add New Global MCP Server. We paste in the JSON template from the docs and fill in the URL field with a tokenized MCP URL. To generate it, we head over to Account Settings in Windmill, open the Tokens menu, and enable Generate MCP URL. Once we've added the URL, we save, and just like that, our windmill scripts and flows are now visible inside Cursor. Let's give it a try. We start a new chat in agent mode and ask to fetch the top five hacker news stories. This calls one of the scripts already available in our workspace. Cursor asks us to approve the MCP tool. We accept, and in just a few seconds, the stories are retrieved. Now let's go a step further. We ask the agent to summarize one of the stories using AI. This triggers a pre-configured windmill flow. Again, we're prompted to approve. This time, we can quickly review the arguments being passed before confirming. As a final step, we ask to send this summary by email. Another windmill powered action runs and we get confirmation that the email was sent successfully. Let's head back to Windmill to confirm everything worked. We open the Fetch Agent Stories script, check the History tab, and click on the latest run with label MCP. We can then review all the details, inputs, outputs, logs, everything's there. Of course, we can do the same with the AI summary flow. Every run is tracked, fully transparent, and easy to audit. With Windmill MCP, we can securely connect our agents and dev tools to dynamic workflows, giving us flexibility, visibility, and control at every step.